In this video, we're going to reduce or simplify trigonometric expressions using power reducing formulas. So the first formula that you need to know is sine squared theta. Sine squared theta is 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2 theta. Now in your textbook, you may see it like this. 1 minus cosine 2 theta divided by 2. It's the same, but I'm going to write it the way I have it on top. Now the formula for cosine squared theta it's going to be 1 half but times 1 plus cosine 2 theta as opposed to 1 minus cosine 2 theta. Now what about tangent squared theta? Well tangent is sine squared divided by cosine squared and sine squared is 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2 theta Cosine squared is 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2 theta. So we can cancel the 1 half on top. So tangent squared theta is simply 1 minus cosine 2 theta divided by 1 plus cosine 2 theta. So these are the formulas that you'll need to know for the problems that are coming up soon. So let's say if we have the expression sine to the fourth power of x. Use the power reducing formulas to simplify this expression in terms of a single power of cosine. So we need to realize that sine to the fourth is basically sine squared times sine squared because 2 plus 2 is 4. So we can write this as sine squared raised to the second power. 2 times 2 is 4. Now the formula for sine squared, it's uh, 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2 theta. And we still have the square on the outside. So 1 half squared, 1 half times 1 half is 1 over 4. And then that's multiplied by 1 minus cosine 2 theta squared. So we can rewrite it as 1 fourth times 1 minus cosine 2 theta multiplied by 1 minus cosine 2 theta. So let's FOIL. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative cosine, that's going to be negative cosine 2 theta. Negative cosine times 1, that's negative cosine 2 theta. And finally, negative cosine times negative cosine is positive cosine squared 2 theta. times one-fourth. Now let's combine like terms. We can combine these two. Negative one cosine plus another negative one cosine is negative two cosine two theta plus cosine squared two theta. So notice that we can use the power reducing formula on cosine squared 2 theta. So the formula for cosine squared 1 theta is 1 half 1 plus cosine 2 theta. So therefore the formula for cosine squared 2 theta must be 1 half 1 plus cosine 4 theta. You need to double the angle whenever you're using the power reducing formula. So what we now have is 1 fourth times 1 minus 2 cosine 2 theta plus 1 half times 1 plus cosine 4 theta. Let's distribute the 1 half on the inside. So this is going to be 1 fourth. 1 minus 2 cosine 
2 theta plus 1 half plus 1 half cosine 4 theta. So we can add 1 and 1 half. If we add them, that's going to be 3 over 2. So it's 3 over 2 minus 2 cosine 2 theta plus 1 over 2 cosine 4 theta. Now let's distribute the 1 fourth. 1 over 4 times 3 over 2 is equal to 3 over 8. And 1 fourth times negative 2 is 1 half, but it's going to be negative 1 half cosine 2 theta. And 1 half times 1 fourth is 1 over 8 cosine 4 theta. So this is it. Let's try another example. Go ahead and reduce this particular expression using the power reducing formulas. So sine squared is 1 half 1 minus cosine 2 theta. And cosine squared is 1 plus, well first it's 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2 theta. So we can multiply these two. 1 half times 1 half is 1 over 4. And then we could FOIL these two. Because these two are conjugates of each other, the middle terms will cancel. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times cosine, that's going to be positive cosine 2 theta. And negative cosine times 1, that's negative cosine 2 theta. And finally, negative cosine times positive cosine is negative cosine squared 2 theta. So the middle terms cancel. And what we now have is 1 minus cosine squared 2 theta. Now, 1 minus cosine squared is an identity. Sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. So 1 minus cosine squared is sine squared. So we have 1 fourth times sine squared 2 theta. So now we can use the power reducing formula one more time. So the power reducing formula for sine squared 2 theta is going to be 1 half times 1 minus cosine, but instead of 2 theta, we need to double the angle. It's going to be 4 theta. So let's distribute the 1 half. Well, actually, we can multiply 1 fourth and 1 half, which is 1 over 8. So the answer is 1 over 8, 1 minus cosine, 4 theta. And let's leave it like this. Let's try one more example. Go ahead and reduce the following expression. Sine to the fourth power times cosine squared. So what do you think we should do in this particular example? How should we begin? What I would recommend doing is rewriting sine to the fourth as sine squared times sine squared. Now based on what we did in the last example, we already know what the product of sine squared times cosine squared is. Following the same steps, we know it's uh, 1 over 8 times 1 minus cosine 4 theta. And sine squared, we know that's going to be 1 half 1 minus cosine 2 theta using the power reducing formula. So now we can multiply 1 half and 1 over 8. So that's going to be 1 over 16. And then we could FOIL these two terms. Or we could just simply leave it in its factored form. If we FOIL it, there's not much that can be simplified. We can't add cosine 2 theta and cosine 4 theta. So it's best to leave it in this form. So that's the answer. So that is it for this video. Thanks for watching.
And I hope you understand this topic now. And have a great day.